written, do a letter for you that t says about the fact you've got epilepsy and about your other conditions as well. And then you talked about your mood. Tell me more about your mood. I've been feeling really depressed lately mm. um, because of a lot of um, personal issues. Everything that pretty much could possibly go wrong in my life has. Um, I've been feeling kind of like suicidal at points as well. And yeah, and um, just sort of like come home and like cry every night pretty much and not feeling sociable at all. Don't really like go out. And, um, and yeah, I just feel like really down. Mm. And then what, what specifically happens? You said that there have been some things happening, um, but what's happened? My granddad died. And, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, my brother was stabbed. Um, my mum and my stepdad um, are getting divorced. And plus my um, boyfriend also is um, in prison as well, so that's quite stressful. And just sort of, I feel like I'm under a constant <laughs> battle with like my sort of conditions and stuff. Mm. Um, and like, I just feel so worried. Talk about feeling suicidal. What is it you thought about doing? Just like, because I just don't see the point of going on, because I just don't have no one, no one there for me at all, just to comfort me even, not even, because I'm not really much of a talker anyway, just to like have that bit of comfort, you know, just to have a hug and say everything's going to be all right kind of thing. And um, so just, just like, ending it really. What is it you thought of doing to do that? Um, like slitting my wrists and um, just like tucking myself under a train. <laughs> How's your sleep? Not good. I've never been a good sleeper anyway, but there's not really a lot I can do about it because of the medication that I take for my epilepsy. Yeah. And you talked about feeling suicidal. Would you react on these thoughts? Mm -hmm. Would you react on those thoughts? Um, no, because I'm not a selfish person and I know that I'd cause a lot of hurt to a lot of people if I'd done that. Mm -hmm. Because it's important if you are feeling suicidal that you need to let us know or someone else know because we don't want to see any harm coming to you. Yeah. Yeah? No, I wouldn't do that because I'm not a selfish person like that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that to them. Mm -hmm. Have you... I suffered with depression in the past? Um, yeah, but, like, not on... Like, you know, bad bad things have, like, gone on, but, you know, it's just... not on to the good way that I feel at the moment. We can refer you for counselling here if you want. I've never been a great fan of counselling because no. I don't... I'm quite a private, private person. Like I said, I'm not really much of a talker. I'm mm -hmm. just... I can take everyone else else's problems on board. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a great listener, and mm -hmm. I could just sit there for hours for someone talking to me and listening. But I'm not really... I don't really like the idea of just talking to some random person. And have you thought about any, like, antidepressants or medications? Is that something that you've thought about? Yeah. So one of the theories behind when people get low in their mood or depressed is that one of the chemicals in the brain is low. So antidepressants help to boost up that chemical. Quite often, you have to take them for at least a month before you might see any benefits of taking the antidepressant. You can get side effects. Common side effects with antidepressants tend to be nausea, vomiting, stomach upset. Some of them can cause problems with vision as well. Okay. Okay. Antidepressants, I wouldn't say that they're a long-term solution. I think they can be good to help get people out of a rut as such, you know, in combination of other things as well, because you've got to look at different life aspects and if there's something that's making someone feel depressed, to deal with that as well. I guess it's something I can try. Yeah, are you wanting to try one? Yeah. Yeah. Quite a big proportion of our patients that will come in with, you know, either depression or feeling low in their mood or anxious or in a distressed state as well. On a daily basis, I might see maybe five or six patients 
that are going through some sort of form of distress. Because of the other medications you're on, I just have to double check about what we can give you. Okay. I'll get back to you at lunchtime today. Okay. All right then. Okay, that's very yeah. All right, good to see you again. Okay.